Welcome to all. Myself, Meghanathan, working as an assistant professor in Pratyusha Engineering College. Today, in technology upgrade meeting, my topic about direct energy deposition method in additive manufacturing process. Direct energy deposition, the process enable the creation of parts by melting material as it being deposited. It is used for metal powder, thus the technology often referred as metal deposition technology. So it is a being deposited using focused thermal energy such, such as laser and electron. The deposition head is mounted on four or five axis arm moves around the fixed object. This process widely used for repair and maintenance of structural parts rather than fabrication of component. Direct energy deposition was developed by Sanida Nation Laboratories in 1995 under the names of LENS and, and then was commercialized by Optimic Design Company. So due to variation in energy source and final use, the direct energy deposition is sometimes referred to laser metal deposition. The deposition head is mounted on the four or five axis arm moves around the fixed object. The material is deposited from the nozzle on the existing surface of the object. The material either provided in wire or powder form. The material is either provided wire or the powder form. The material is melted using laser electron beam or pl plasma or upon the deposition. The further material is added layer by layer as it solidifies repairing or creating new material which feed which on the existing object. So the types of direct energy depositions are the laser based direct energy deposition and the electron beam based direct energy deposition system such as additive manufacturing and use an electron beam to melt the powdered material in feedstock. And third one is the plasma or electric arc based direct energy deposition method so these are based on the energy source so these are all the classified and next one is a powder based direct energy deposition method and wire based direct energy deposition method so how direct energy deposition method works since the process create a molten metal pool the direct energy deposition process typically occurs in a sealed a chamber either filled with the inert gas or laser or energy source or vacuum for electron beam system to stop metal oxidation especially for reactive materials like titanium and also the center of the typical direct energy deposition system is the nozzle head which consists of the energy source and the powder delivery nozzle which converts at the point of deposit where the laser beam is focused nozzle head is mounted on either multi-axis CNC machine. So using geometric CAD information, both the nozzle head and the build platform is moved to generate 3D geometrical features. The laser beam melt the surface and create a small molten pool of material on the substrate at the start point along the build path. The feeder feed the powder through the nozzle into this molten pool. So using computer aided drafting geometric information, the CNC control head or bed both are moved along the build path to create metal path feature. So what are the advantages and disadvantages in the direct energy deposition method? So the advantages are high build rate, 
So direct energy deposition, higher deposit rate at relatively low resolution means faster build rate compared to some other metal additive manufacturing process. So dense the strong part, direct energy deposition create the higher density parts, hence the thermal, hence their mechanical properties are good as cast or rough material. And the another advantages in the direct energy deposition method near net shape. The parts can be near net shape requiring minimal amount of the post processing. And also it can be used for repairing. So ideally suited for application requiring metal addition to existing parts. Hence leads lends itself repairing applications. And few disadvantages in the direct energy deposition method. So the first disadvantage is high capital cost. The direct energy deposition system are comparably very expensive to their other types of metal additive manufacturing systems and low build resolution. The part produced using direct energy deposition, the technology are lower in resolution, which poor surface finish. It will look like a sand or investment casting and would require secondary processing such as machining or aqua blasting, hence adding more time and cost. And another disadvantage is in the direct energy deposition and not support structure due to it is nature, nature of how the direct energy deposition technology build parts support structure cannot be used during the build process. Hence the features like overhangs 